Welcome, 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 welcome back. And this week we have a PowerPoint tip from the MS Office Maestro. That's me, Shelley Fischel. So let's take a look at adding video to your slides and making it play automatically. There are three places you can get video from. You can get them from your device, you can get them from stock images, and you can get them from online videos. And I'm gonna show you just that. So here I am with a slide ready to add video. That's all it's gonna be called, the add video. And down here I have a couple of placeholders. So I've got insert video, uh, and then these ones are images, but I am actually not going to use those. I'm gonna to go to the insert ribbon, and I have a, an insert video all to itself. And there are my three choices, this device, stock videos, or online videos. This device, obviously, are any videos that you have stored in your system. I have lots, all of my tutorial videos are stored somewhere on my device. Then we have stock videos. Well, these are videos that are provided to you from Microsoft and you can use them as you wish. And you'll see they're in the same place as the images, the icons, and so on. I'll come back to it in just a moment. The other place is online videos. Now, this is an online search and you actually have to go and find the video that you want. So you're assuming that you found the video you want to insert, maybe on one of these places, and you're gonna copy its URL and paste it in here, and then it will add it there. But of course, for this, you have to be sure that you have permission to use it. Whereas with the stock videos, you can just use them. And that's what I'm gonna to do today. Click stock videos, and I saw one a moment ago, which was pouring coffee. And as all my training takes place in Coffee Island, the coffee shop, I thought that was a good one to play with. And you'll see it looks like coffee being poured. So I'll click insert. And it's now gone in the full size of the screen. And the designer has popped up to give me options of other ways that I could put this. So if I wanted to have some text next to it, like this is Coffee Island, then I could do that and carry on. So I'm just gonna undo that because I quite like it full screen. Now, once it's here, you'll notice we have a video format ribbon, which allows us to change the shape and style of the video or um, color it in in different ways or do all the things that you can do with images. And we have a playback ribbon. This playback ribbon allows us to set where the video starts. And you can see it's gonna start automatically. That means as soon as we go to play the slide, the coffee is being poured. So we'll come out of that and it's fantastic. So if I don't want that to happen, then I'll choose in click sequence, which means each time I click, if it's part of a sequence or when it's clicked on, which means when I'm actually gonna click on that video, then it will play. In a click sequence would usually be where you're moving from one slide to the next, and as you come onto the slide and click, it will then play. Whereas when you click on it, means you can have the slide displayed before you, and, and the video will only play when you click on that slide. So that's how you make a video play automatically. It goes onto your slide and it's on the video playback ribbon automatically. And I'll see you in the next tip sometime soon. But before I go, remember to hit subscribe at the bottom and ring the bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. I generally release them once a week, but sometimes I sneak an extra one in. So ring that bell and subscribe. Thanks for coming and I'll see you in another one soon.